Okay. Oh, we have people from everywhere. Saskatchewan. Anybody here from Saskatchewan want to make some noise? Winnipeg, Montreal. I see all of you guys here in line, which is great. Now, I want to shout out to the Calgary uh, Great Cup Committee who are serving pancakes and sausages over here this morning. Proving that you don't have to be from Calgary to enjoy pancakes and sausages. I see everybody's indulging here. See, food brings us all together. It's a good thing. It's beautiful. So, shouts out to them. We appreciate it. The Toronto Sun the zip line is open. As you can see, there's a long lineup already waiting to get their tickets. So, make sure if you're going to try the zip line here today, it is the, um, it's the, the tallest urban zip line in North America, 725 feet. Don't get scared of that. It's uh, We had Santa Claus do the zip line, to believe it or not. So, if Santa can do it, so can you. Alright, head on over to the tent at the bottom of the ramp over there to get your tickets. It'll take uh, real, real quick, so don't worry about it. Now, remember also to head over to the gridiron to cheer on the Burlington minor league football team. There you go. See how easy that is? That? Real simple. Nice. And salute our armed forces and try your strength at the, the Department of National Defense obstacle course right over here. You guys wave your hands. I don't know where you are. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, I would like you to, uh, I'd like to introduce you to somebody, a good friend of mine. We just uh, became pals in the last oh, half an hour or so. I was talking about how incredibly cold it feels today, and of course, just like a spoiled Torontonian, I think it's cold today. But Bruce, my man here, has got a great cold story I'd like you to share with everybody. Well, actually, thank you, Toronto, for providing some half-decent weather here. Back in 1995, we were in Regina, doing the same thing we're doing here. It was 20 below. Now, we need water to mix with our pancake batter to make the pancakes. Somebody forgot to bring a hose. So we sent one of our guys off. He ran quickly to a Home Depot store, grabbed a hose, was running to the checkout, saw a cheaper hose at the checkout, threw the more expensive one down, picked up the cheaper one, ran back to where we were doing our breakfast, they hooked up the hose, turned on the water, and all of a sudden the scream started. He had picked up a soaker hose. <laughs> we had water everywhere and it was 20 below in Regina. So this weather out here in Toronto is absolutely fabulous compared to what we've been through in a number of years before. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Strizzy. Well, hello, Toronto. I said hello, Toronto. All right, we are the Calgary Great Cup Committee. Proud to be here for our 65th year, putting on the pancake breakfast for you here at Grey Cup here in Toronto. For the next couple hours, we're going to give you just a little bit of a taste of what it's like to be in Calgary for 10 days in July during the annual Calgary Exhibition and Stampede. What you're seeing here is replayed dozens of times throughout Calgary and locations everywhere where the bands, the pancake breakfast, are all going for a full 10 days. So we're just going to give you just a little bit of a taste of what goes on down there for those 10 days. And we're going to start with our own official Calgary Grey Cup Committee Band. Hi, Step and Daddy. Will you put your hands together for them?
for the 2012 Grey Cup champion, Calgary Stampeders. How many here for the uh, Women in Toronto last win it in 1921? How many here are cheering for the Toronto Argonauts? This is going to be a great game. What are the odds at the 100th Grey Cup? could feature the two teams, Toronto and Calgary, this, it, it, they could not have scripted a better matchup for this game. Almost 21 years to the day that uh, Toronto soundly beat Calgary in the last Grey Cup, and 20 years previously, Calgary beat Toronto, so this is the rubber match, this is it, this is the big one. <laughs> this is yours? Uh, you're from Calgary, right? <laughs> So he's got the hat. So listen, it's going to be a great team. Two second place teams making it here. Couldn't have scripted it better. It's going to be just a great, great cup. So hang on. Lots more pancakes and sausages going on over here. I see the lineup's a little bit long there, but be patient. They'll get to you. One more time. Let's get right back to High Step and Daddy. hospitality in Calgary, our white hat. Premier Redford, I'd like you to have this, accept this, you are now an honorary member of the Calgary Grey Cup Committee. Thank you, Premier Redford. Mayor Rockford, the Mayor of Calgary. Mayor Nahadeshi. As, as many of you know, we do have a great cup bet here. 
They have sweaters, jerseys made up for each team. Their bet, whoever team loses has to wear the other team's jersey into their city council meetings the following week. Gentlemen, let's start with Mr. Port. Thank you very much. I want to welcome everyone to Toronto. I was in Calgary. It was uh, absolutely a beautiful city. I was in Edmonton uh, this summer. And uh, I want to thank you for being so hospitable to me when I was there. And we will be reciprocal to you. Um, I hope you get out see this great city that we have. And uh, unfortunately, some of you are going to go uh, crying in your beers after uh, <laughs> Sunday. You know, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll treat you good until about 6 o'clock on Sunday then. You can uh, pack your bags because uh, Toronto's going to give you guys a whooping like you never had before. But enjoy yourselves. Thanks, Aaron Ford. Well, I am thrilled to be back here in the city of my birth. This is a terrific place. I love it. And, uh, and I love that Mayor Ford is about to give me something because we've had terrible weather in Calgary. It's been very, very slushy. And I really do need something to wipe down my car when I get back. It's parked outside. So. One thing, one thing that Mayor Ford and I share is, uh, well we share many things, one is a love of cities and a love of this city and my city, but the other of course is a love of football. And these are, these are two great teams playing in the 100th Grey Cup, the two great cities of Calgary, this is going to be an amazing game. Now Mayor Ford, I have to tell you something. Normally when we have visitors to Calgary, distinguished people like yourself, we honor them with a symbol of Calgary. And I didn't get to see anyone in Calgary last time, so I'm making a special exception for you. And this has nothing to do with the game. But I've got here in front of me an iconic Calgary white hat. And Mayor Ford, I've asked the people of Calgary, although it looks empty, to fill it up for you. And we filled it up with our very best wishes for you and for this great city. So there you are. Put that on right here. Look at that. Hey! And for, for your next council meeting, I've got a uh, great opportunity. And by the way, for those who don't know, Mayor Ford and I have made two bets. We're trading jerseys, but the more important bet is that the loser donates his weight in food to the food bank in the winner city. And for all of you out there, how many Calgarians have we got? How many Torontonians have we got? Well, that's like half and half. <laughs> so, time to make bets with yourselves. I encourage all of you who are betting on the game, make a bet for your food bank. And I tell you, the Calgary Food Bank has cleared out lots of space for all those donations from Torontonians on Monday morning, calgaryfoodbank.com. Thank you, Mary Nancy, for those uh, kind, kind, uh of words I would call it. I, I, I've got thick skin on me. So I'd like to present this jersey to you. I know you're going to have to wear it um, for longer than one uh, day at council. Hopefully work for a week. And I'd like to present this football to you. The City of Toronto football. We have a lot of footballs. without one more duty here. Mayor Nancy, Mayor Ford, can I get you back on here for just one second, please? As is tradition in Calgary, whenever Calgary scores a touchdown, there are footballs thrown out in, in, into the pants. And you can keep that one. i got a couple more here for you. And Mayor Ford, I know the cameras were on you the other day when you threw the football, so we want to give you a second chance to get one out the back. Here is going to be a uh, hand. Oh, Give me more. You know, just like a darn politician, they don't listen. Get me two more football shots. Get me two more footballs, will you? That's right. As Mayor Nancy just said, give a politician a football he wants to get rid of it. One for you. All right, all right. One for you. 
Now we got a big game coming up on Sunday. Now let's see which one of these guys is going to throw the ball the furthest because that's going to be a good indicator of what's going to happen on Sunday. Are you ready on three guys? He's a much better player than me. No. On three. One, two, three. for us on Sunday. Mayor Nenji, Mayor Ford, thank you so much for coming up and being part of our celebration here today at the Calgary Grain Cup Committee. It's going to be a great game. tradition and this what is going to be an amazing game. Any chance you're going to be wearing that jersey on Monday? No chance. All right, thank you. Well, I'm not losing, I'll tell you that, that's for sure. So. You had some tough talk for Calgary, the Calgary's mayor. That's all right. You know, you know, we'll bring it on Sunday and see what happens. Mr. Charles back and survive this council. And again, can I just get your prediction? It was hard to hear you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.